so tomorrow, Sam, that guy there, uh, he's getting married tomorrow. As you can see, we've got a massive team here going up here at the moment, which is going to be where the after party is tomorrow, or the reception, as a lot of people like to call it. Got a big chair and some wings and a fire bucket, just in case you never know. Not forget the logs. And a bag of marshmallows because that's what every five bit needs. Marshmallows. Uh, now this one's turned up. That also has a lot more stuff in it. <laughs> Next time you see, we should be here ready to party, get this man married. <laughs> so here it is, big day, uh, Sam and Shannon's wedding. <laughs> Smile! Right. 
Yay! <laughs> Come on, Kevin. Oh, almost. <laughs> Food time. Be nice. Oh, it's, it's not your name wrong. It's not your name wrong. Today, Shannon and Sam. Wow, that's all I've got to say first of all. I'm a bit nervous today, but not because I'm making this speech. I've had to put up with Shannon for 25 years. <laughs> 24. 24, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought I was going to come, but I, I, I couldn't say 24 and three quarters. So, she wasn't drunk then. This is quite the point that I'm, I'm meant to embarrass Shannon of uh, the things that she's done when she was growing up and everything else. So, I'm not going to do that, Shannon. Not this time, anyway. What I thought I'd do is wait until the uh, the disco started and get on the dance floor. That was seriously embarrassing for the north, so I'm looking forward to that. Sam. What can I say about you? You always get that point as a father that you dread that your daughter's going to come home and say, this is the guy I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. And the father goes. But not this time. This time, I've got to say, I was very happy, very, very proud to say, well, this guy's going to be my son. You know? Please be upstairs. <laughs> For yeah. my final words, um, please raise a glass to Isabella, <coughs> Arthur, Shanna, Shannon, Shannon, <laughs> and Sam Cook. This speech has been one of the hardest things I've had to do. 
no matter what I wrote, the whole thing sounded like I was accepting an award. <laughs> <laughs> but I soon realised that's exactly what I'm doing. But this beautiful lady sat right here is an award which I should be grateful for. <laughs> <laughs> Every day and the rest of my life. Did that kill you to write that? <laughs> anyway. I would like to start by thanking you all on behalf of myself and my wife <laughs> for joining us today. Yeah. To my family, all of you here, thank you for the continued support over the years. I know I've not always been the best at times, but you've always stood by me for every decision, good and bad, that I've made. You've always welcomed Shannon for the best decision that I've ever made. So again, thank you. But Mum, Kim, Paula, you've wiped our asses, you've dried our tears, you've held our hands, you put food in our bellies. Probably a bit too much, but thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Oh, thank you, Missy. Is he? Is he? Oh. <laughs> I'll have a kiss as well. <laughs> there's, one, there's one more person I'd just like to thank uh, for all his help and support over the year. It's been a difficult year for everyone on that side of family and uh, Derek yeah, as well. well Derek. He's been a superstar. Yeah. I first met Shannon just a little over seven years ago. I was an immature teen driving a stupidly noisy car. <laughs> and Shannon was a terror 18 with, with a bad relationship with peroxide. <laughs> but it wasn't long before our world was flipped on its end with Shannon falling pregnant with our gorgeous Arthur, wherever he is. <laughs> and not long after, our beautiful Isabel. We had to grow up quick, and that was easier said than done. And if anyone had told me I'd be lucky enough to marry Shannon, I'd probably have laughed. And I know I'm not the only one. No matter what life threw at us, we overcame it, learnt from it, and become a stronger couple in the long run. Although it was a bit rocky when, Sh when Shannon had a cracking pair of assets removed. <laughs> Seriously though, I don't think anything we've done has been conventional. Like Nick said, we've done things a bit back to front, but I wouldn't change us or our family for the world. And so here we are today, and I'm sure you'll agree what a wonderful job Shannon has done with yes. the TV, oh, yes. yeah. the ceremony, yeah. everything. Well Amazing she looks as well. Beautiful. Shannon, you're a kind, beautiful, strong-minded woman. <laughs> With an excellent judge of character. <laughs> you have made me the proudest man in the world today, Aww. just like any other day. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please be upstanding and would raise a glass for my wife, Mrs. Shannon Cook. To my wife, Shannon Cook. Shannon. Yeah. Yeah. He was going to say to my missus. <laughs> you was smashed last Begrudgingly, I now hand you over to my best man. <laughs> and I would now like to apologise for anything in advance. Here we go. Sam's asked me not to say a few things, so here we go. <laughs> Congratulations, Sam and Shannon. Shannon is lucky to be here today for a number of occasions. I tried to shoot her. Where she lives next door. Kim! Kim! Right, I want to apologise for the poo. It's on the dog. Right! For some reason, every time Sam, Sam shares room three, he gets piles apart from last night, by the way. Apparently, I can't, apparently, I can't read this one, so that one goes as well. He don't do, does he? No. But one thing he will do, doing really well, being a good dad and a good husband. Yeah. Right, so all stand up. Take your glasses. Let's raise a toast to Sam and Shannon tonight. <laughs> 
Shaman Shaman Oh, my God. 